Okay, in this um, tutorial, I am going to take a previous tutorial because I started getting off on a tangent on the value of America and how this is in directly result of consumer um, value for America, the value of the dollar and perception of the rest of the world of us as a result of our exploitation of the world. Um, it does affect us. How the, how the companies, corporations value um, America and the ultimately the idea that Atlas shrugged, it did shrug, it's the corporations that have left America. And that has tarnished people's perception of, especially because of behaviors of corporations, the people's perceptions of America and that ultimately the value that we place in the products that we buy and how we value people in the organizations all of that is going to feed back on people's perception of america and the continuing ability for this democracy to continue um and people's uh, memory of this america should it fail that it probably will fail and it will be a result of how we value those around us and how we value what we buy and how we value our own time. So in a summary, that's what I was doing in my other tutorial. It ended up being three hours long, but I touched on a lot of um, the attributes of how this comes about, how it, it all can be fixed and things of that nature. And I ultimately say that I'm not interested in being the president. I'm not interested in being a part of a corporation. I, I don't want to be in any place where people's perception of me is going to affect my behavior, where um, um, how I get paid affects my behavior. I don't want to be in those positions. I would rather write documentation that would influence people's perception of how to determine better value in the world. And it also affects people's perception, especially when Christians do not live up to the way that they perform, the way they're expected to perform as Christians. How people value their, um, their um, religion, how they value their faith, how they value God ultimately is going to be affected by how they behave. And it is the reason why we are here, we are being tested. Um, and so people's perception of Christians on the overall is going to determine the value that Christians have here in this world. That they're, uh, they're, the way they affect others um, indirectly reflects upon them and upon everything else in this world. And it, if this world is a failure, it's probably because of the Christians. It's probably a result of the lack of um, a Christian influence. Okay? So you just need to be aware of this, guys. And... Um, it's my perception of the world that we are already in hell um, just from the way the world behaves right now, just the way the world is. We are already in hell and I'm in that. Um, so if it is, then I'm completely at one with that. Um, if, it, if, it, if this is hell, I'm at one with it. I'm just going to write it out. I'm going to write life out. Um, and I'm just going to continue to be who I am. Um, what I believe to be um, good. Um, and it's going to be up to God. Whether this really is. If my life is successful. Or if my the world is just a result. Direct result of my bad decisions. Um. So, you know, I really can't, I, I, I can't um, deal with that uh, as an individual. I can't deal with the stress of how I perceive 
um, things. Um, I can't deal with that. So I choose not to. I choose to be myself over having to be self-concerned and concerned about the world and everything in it. But at the same time, I recognize that there's something in the world that's happened and it really doesn't reflect on the way I remember the world to be. That something has happened here and it may be a result of my involvement in this world. It may be just a overall example of how things can occur if everybody in this world chooses not to do the right thing. And that I'm my not choosing the right things to do in the first place may be just um, it may be just that the world that I'm seeing is a result of the same sort of behavior. So and me saying all this stuff really um, is me saying um, okay I understand now but I have to as an individual I can't be um, I can't take this as a human um, and I will at every avenue as I'm a able to reason as I'm able to respond will and will respond in a way that is productive to me um, and ultimately when I come down to it, when it comes to the ability to love you have to love yourself and love the attributes of what you are and be able to live within those in that you can't um, love others without loving yourself. You can't, um, you can't, you can't really expect others to be, uh, to, to hold you to a, an, a, to hold you to a great degree is important. Um, you can give yourself some importance because you're important to you, but you can't expect others to respect you for for what you are, unless you perform to that. And I'm trying to perform to that. It may be too late, but I, and I, I could be manipulated to try to do this um, by a higher power, maybe God, maybe the devil. I don't know. Um, I am just going to try to be what I should have been. Um, I have sinful behavior. Um, I have a hard time dealing with it. And, um, I wish there was a drug that would really do away with it. Um, if... I mean, if there was a way to fill the, the hole of that, of that attraction to that sin, if there was a way of burying it, I would. But it is a part of me, and I have come to realize that. And it's hard for me to detach or to attach myself to that and, and because the way that I value, value what I think the world should be um, is sort of detached from the way I am. And it's hard for me to see the relationship and, of what it is. The only thing I can see is, is um, how my life probably would be different if I didn't have it. Um, that's the only thing I can really perceive. But the reason why I am this way in the world is because it would be crazier for me to not have some involvement with it.
because I just I just make um, it really seems like I just make bad decisions so let's put that aside I'm going to do this tutorial I'm actually just going to, to cut this here and then put that in another video that I'm going to talk about post-production in Blender which uh, you know it I struggle with I struggle with doing anything anymore um, because I'm concerned about the metaphysical more than I am about the world and you when you're reminded every day by a malicious power in the world the devil reminded every day that um, you have failed in every aspect of your life which is probably the case um, and that um, there was a way that you just didn't understand that I really didn't um, and what the purpose was the, of that I have every uh, bel belief to say that the way I am is a direct result of how the world is to me and how um, I guess how the sin of my life has permitted the world to manipulate me and um, down the road it will be my demise but um, I have to um, keep trying regardless and because there's always a chance for you know there is a chance for grace then there there's a potential for grace and there's a potential that God can turn back there's a potential for me to turn back there is a potential for Satan to fail and I, that's my intention is that he does and I need to not be reliant on patterns in the world because even God said it's a foolish, it's a foolish, um, foolish people that need signs. So if this, if I'm so reliant on the signs in the world to, um, to espouse or to, to determine my position in the world and, and what's happening if it's if I'm really so affected by the world and the patterns in the world that I'm seeing um, then it says something about my integrity and so I need to just keep doing what I believe to be right and um, probably Probably, um, probably, um, turn back from my, what my sin is, and, uh, continue to try to be what I should be. Um, but it's very difficult and I would wish anything for a way to get me out of the sin to cut myself apart from it um, I just do not see a way it's much harder for me to give up my sin as it is for somebody to just give up cigarettes um, it just is part of my life and I can't imagine not having it there for me. I can't imagine what it would be like to put it off. Because um, every experience I've had involved trying to put it off um, resulted in failure. Because I know what ultimately happens is that it, had, it gains more strength over my root my 
tendency to to push it back and you know what I see probably seen in the world as a direct result of my choices I see the world as kind of a pachinko machine the balls fall and hit the pins and you end up in a parallel universe that's all really well designed for you and it's meant to affect you and, um, it's a test and I know that now but before I saw the last of the test, and I just was not res so responsive to it. I just did not see where it was going. It's easy for you to get distracted by life and then to lose everything as a result of that distraction. And that's kind of what's happened to me. My distraction being computers, being uh, having a value as a programmer. Um, I've gotten distracted by the media of the world and the, the um, value for entertainment. It has all affected my ability to perform in this test and perform as a contributor. Um, positive contributor of everything in the world and this may all just be karma so I'm just going to go ahead and continue with this next tutorial maybe nobody ever improves from it maybe nobody ever watches it but I just got to try to keep on keep on yeah. so I'm going to stop this video and then I'm really going to do some post-production